Yes, uh, welcome back everybody. We are back here and today we are going to do something uh, we've not done. And uh, this is uh, Q&A. My wife was becoming uh, a little bit smarter today. So she had all these questions that uh, she wanted to ask me. And I also became a little bit wiser. So what I decided to do is that uh, we mix all these questions together and we put them in a bowl right here. Whichever questions lands on your hand, then that is the question that uh, you are going to answer. And so, our time <laughs> begins now. Pray for me. <laughs> Who is the first one to pick? You. They say I pick first. and then I give you. Okay, when you pick, you ask me. And when yes. I pick, I ask you. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm the one who's going to pick. This is the first one. Hey, hey. So, uh -huh. this is the question. And, uh, and you read what is there. You don't uh, form, <laughs> formulate another one in your mind. So it says, uh -huh. what was the hardest decision to make about marriage? Wow. I think for me, really, one, uh, one hard decision to make. Of course, falling in love was constant. So mm -hmm. I'd fallen in love mm -hmm. to the right person and all that. But I think the issue of tribe was huge mm -hmm. because of where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it was quite, quite, quite very, very challenging mm -hmm. because I had had over and over and over and over and over. I've been warned. I've been warned <laughs> by my own uh, family, by uh, the examples that they had seen across uh, you know, intercultural marriages uh, and uh, basically societal norm. marriages mm. and all that. Mm. And so I was told this one, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. this one you are setting up yourself for failure. <laughs> this marriage will not even take off. Yeah. And even if it takes off, uh, we are Go giving back. you guys a few years or a few months. But uh, now here we are, it's been uh, 20 years since we got married. Yeah. Yeah, but it was really, it was really it a cost hard one. that I really had to count. Wow. Many times I was sat down, many times my friend spoke and talked to me and they said, ask many tough questions. But uh, nevertheless, I still made the decision. Wow. And here we are. Yeah. Okay. Ah yeah, let me pick mine and uh, ask. Ah, this one is so easy. I think I should uh, return it and get another one. <laughs> but anyway, it's asking you, what is your husband's love language? Okay. Hmm, my husband's love language, uh, acts of service and words of affirmation. Yeah? Now, uh, acts of service, am I right? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, acts of uh, service. I'm waiting to hear the explanation. Yeah. That will make, make it right so, or wrong. <laughs> uh, so, acts of service is uh, just serving. You know, like where uh, I serve you. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things uh, I know you love is uh, being served. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it because you serve people a lot. Mm -hmm. You serve people, you serve everyone. And you know, as they always say, you do what what you want to be done for, or you speak your love language through what you do to others mm -hmm. yeah yeah so i know you really appreciate it when uh, maybe especially after you've eaten ugali somebody comes and washes your your hands not always you appreciate it you know uh, yeah i think you also like it when uh, i i cooked and i ask you can i bring for you some food or uh, food is ready you know or you finished eating uh, and that day i'm like man i wash your hands you know i might not do it every day but i know those are the moments you appreciate but also you appreciate words of affirmation yeah mm -hmm. yeah so being um being positive uh, affirming you 
Uh, they tell you how handsome you are, you're smart, like right now, like... <laughs> I love not being blamed on everything. Not being blamed, yeah, not being blamed. Just being positive. Hey, yeah, that's that's actually uh, yeah. a big one. Mm, I mm. Blame yeah, yeah. So you 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 appreciate it when uh, I'm positive. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, you've done very well. Yes, I see. So on, uh, on a scale of one to ten, I can give you eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> ah I thought I would be at two <laughs> in that area. Okay. Thank you. Ah yeah. And now it's my turn. Yes. Uh, go ahead and pick. Uh, that's an easy one you know, pick. Hi. What is one memory in marriage that you will always treasure? One memory. One marriage. memory in marriage that you will always treasure. Wow. I think for me, uh, one thing I will treasure is uh, our very first trip to the US and the journey before, the journey to get there. Oh. Going to the embassy for like yeah. five times. And being denied. And being rejected Gosh. and being denied, denied the visa. visa. Yeah. And then we finally Got it. Got it. And now we were traveling together yes. and uh, just being together. I think uh, that was such that so, was that so memorable for me. For a month. It was a month, eh? Yeah. That was, yeah. Yeah, mm. so I think that was really, 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 mm. yeah. That and I think the fact that we were together, yeah. uh, just made it so complete. No, I know I've traveled many times without you and yeah. all that, yeah. but uh, that one was so, so... So memorable. memorable. I would carry you everywhere I want to. I know. I would, I know. If that was possible. Mm, wow. Yeah. Actually, guys, that was a big one. You know, being denied the visa. I don't know if you've never uh, gone been to the embassy. Embassy. It this is might just so be a story. frustrating. Yeah. It is so frustrating. We. I think we should share one day. Because I remember this. This, this one when uh, I was uh, like. The fourth, the one. fourth time eh? when we went there and we actually thought we we got yeah, it. Was that so guy was so nice yeah he spoke to us so nice. well he was like oh okay so why are you going to the u.s we answered all the all questions, the questions and, and uh, he was so kind he was so kind smiling. he was so smiling <laughs> we were like uh, telling each other ah, how this one we got it. it and then the guy just changed he said madam <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry sir. Sir. i'm sorry no visa I no, Ooh. that was hard. That was no, that, that was, was hard. Really, really, really that hard. was hard, guys. So when we got it, yeah. we actually didn't believe we got it. Yeah, actually, so we're like, what? We got that. the visa, yeah, you know? Happened. Yeah, so, yeah, I like that. Hi. Okay, so it's my turn. Let me pick uh, one uh, for you here. I got it from here. What is, or what was the toughest time in your marriage? <laughs> the toughest time in my marriage, in our marriage, I think we've had several tough times, uh, but I'm thinking the one that, uh, the hardest times were our first years in marriage. Actually, feel as we've continued, it's been getting better and better, but I feel like maybe the first uh, the first uh, few years, you know, uh, I felt like there were too many things happening, too many transitions eh, happening at the same time. So, okay, I had been in love, you know, and I was looking forward, you know, that thing we're not thinking, what does that mean, you know? So then we get married, we go to the house, and then I realized, eh, there are roles, <laughs> you know? Uh, okay, I didn't mind doing it with my husband, but I think... Uh, Definitely, I realize we are so different. We look at different things differently, which was, which was a good thing, but also sometimes a challenging thing. But now when it came to having the kids, when the kids were young, because our kids uh, followed each other, you know, we, we were firstborn, uh, came, and then two years later we had the, the other one. You know, so they were like twins. I just felt like it was too much trying to balance children, 
two young, two under five years old, you know, a marriage, a job, you know, there were too many things at that point. Uh, and I feel like that was the cha most, most challenging time. Wow. Yeah, in my mind. I think maybe at some point I, and that's the time, I feel like those are the times I cried a lot. Sometimes I didn't even know why I was crying. Maybe I was crying because the children have not slept the whole night. You know, and uh, man, I need to wake up and go to work the following day. Or you know, so there were just too many things happening at that point. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I feel like those were my toughest. What were your toughest? Me, I think uh, the toughest is when we lost to dad. Yeah. And uh, this year, when uh, we had transition and the death of the girl. Of our car, I think for me that was those were quite, tough times. Yeah, quite tough. I know you are coming to a new ministry, people are like new. expecting yeah. quite a lot, and here you are, you are uh, shedding off where you come from. Mm. There are so many things, yeah. And I think that mm. I think for me that was really, really, yeah. really tough. I was spinning, yeah. Yeah, I was Actually, feeling yeah. emotionally, mm -hmm. just feeling like, wow, mm -hmm. losing a sister, mm -hmm. you know, at the same time with her mother there. Yeah. Actually, we lost like three very... There were like four losses. Yeah. Because the transfer losses. in itself is a loss. It's a loss. You lost your, you, you're leaving your friends behind. Yeah. You're leaving what you know. Yeah. You know, you know. You're even leaving your children behind. Your children, because we had to leave our children in Nairobi to come. To, yeah. to a new place. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so that was a big one, you know? Yeah. And then we've lost, I lost my sister. Yeah. Very tragically. Yeah. Just you around know? the same time. Around the same time. Mm. Actually, all these things happened within one month. In between March and April. Yeah. 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 That yeah. was, that was very, so very tough, tough, tough. And then we lost, I lost my grandmother. Yeah. And uh, we also lost uh, our car was our property. We and lost some we property. Lost Tau, we lost our brother, a very friend. Quite close friend. Gosh, I I think that how how maybe you can share a little bit. How has that? Where were you at at that point? No, I think all these things because we were very excited about the transfer. The transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay, not very, very excited, but it was one of those you are we were looking forward yeah. because we definitely know that uh, God has uh, uh, has plans. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And so we were surrendered. Yeah. I think that may be the right word to yeah. use. We were surrendered about the transfer yeah. and we were like, okay, yeah. uh, bring it on. It's yeah. always good to, to take new challenges. Mm -hmm. And so we really took the transfer very positively. Yeah until mm -hmm. these things now started That's hitting mm -hmm. and you were like wow mm -hmm. i was prepared for the transfer yeah. but not for all these all others this. so it was quite quite uh, i think we'll come and share uh, more in details but uh, yeah that was a tough time mm -hmm. that was a tough time yeah next now after being married for 20 years what would you say are the three things that you have learned about marriage? I've learned more than three. <laughs> three <major. laughs> uh, there are quite uh, a number of things. Yeah. But let me begin with one that I think keeps me going. Yeah. Is uh, uh, learn to compromise. I've learned that the marriage, you do not carry the day all the time. Marriage is give and take. And uh, the more you compromise, the better it is. And compromising here does not mean lowering standards or uh, just uh, having no standards mm -hmm. at all, but where you consciously make a decision to come down in order to meet with your spouse. So when you are up here and your spouse is down here, you make a step behind and allow her to make a step in front so that you guys can meet in the middle and then decide the way forward there. I think that has really, really been something that has uh, helped us quite a bit yeah. in, uh, in, uh, in marriage yeah. that I've learned. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one. Yeah. The other thing I've learned mm -hmm. is uh, just to practice uh, Romans, mm -hmm. Romans 12, 21. Mm -hmm. 
to overcome evil by doing good. You know, that one you do well. Yeah, yeah I well. think I've just learned that uh, you don't pay revenge. Yeah. Revenge doesn't work. Yeah. Tit for tat doesn't work in marriage. Yeah. But the surest thing that works in a marriage yeah. is overcoming evil with good. Okay. It is one of the most difficult things to do, but it's one of the things that pays off uh, great dividends because uh, when somebody has done the wrong thing, the best you can do is to make it right yeah. by doing the right thing. But if you don't do the right thing, then uh, that marriage falls apart. So that has helped me. Yeah. And finally, the third thing, which actually is the first, mm -hmm. is to just trust in God yeah. and build your marriage mm -hmm. on the Lord. Wow. Because the Lord has taken us through things, times, places, that has never been. I always say my greatest security in our marriage is your relationship with God and my relationship with God. So I think those those are three things are uh, have kept me afloat yeah. in our marriage. Wow. Amen. Yeah, that's convicting already. Yeah. Uh, mm, thanks for sharing. Yes. Uh, and so let's go to the, I thought this one was the last one. Okay, what does love mean to you? Wow, this is a good one. What does love mean to me? Oh, I can say love is a commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, love is a choice mm -hmm. that uh, one makes. Mm -hmm. uh, love is a union mm -hmm. uh, between two souls. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I always love uh, 2 Corinthians 13, mm -hmm. that love is kind, mm -hmm. love is patient, mm -hmm. love does not, um, uh, does not, is not accusing, it does not blame, you know, it does not rejoice mm -hmm. when evil happens, mm -hmm. uh, but it says love is patient, love is kind, love protects, love protects, rejoices with the truth, yes. Yeah, love never fails. It never fails. I think um, that is for me. Love is bigger than just a feel. Mm. Yeah, it's not just the emotion because mm. I always think of when we met mm. and uh, the things we've gone through, and we still have to keep going. Mm. It's a daily choice mm. to love someone. Mm. It's a daily choice that you make that, okay, I know we have all these things we are working on, mm -hmm. or I know we have all these weaknesses or these issues, mm -hmm. but it's a commitment you made mm -hmm. to God, or it's a covenant, mm -hmm. you know, that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me, that's love. I don't know whether, what you think. Yeah, I think, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I would maybe just want to add one or two things, mm -hmm. that uh, when you are in love, mm -hmm. it's finding you you are falling in love with somebody mm -hmm. that you also feel safe yeah. with and somebody that you enjoy their company mm -hmm. and love gives I think love is, yeah, you give, yeah. you give, you give, you give, you give, you give and then you, you, you strive yeah. to hang in there for better or for worse and we, we, when you are falling in love or getting married you actually don't know when the turns and the bends are going to be but you must be prepared. Yeah. You buckle up and be prepared. Yeah. If there is a sharp corner that uh, you go together yeah. and uh, swing and sway, but you end up together. If there is uh, a nice road, yeah. you want to put an autopilot, then you are also together. Wow. So I think uh, that for me is love. Mm. That for me is love. Not when it is rocky, now you say, yeah. you're bored, uh, me and uh, I'll, you, uh, let's meet on the other side. <laughs> you say, let's go together yeah. and see how, how the journey is going to be. So it's kind of like for better or for worse. Maybe that's the other question that maybe one day we should talk about. What does it mean for better or for worse? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, finally. Yes. What is your wife's or spouse's Favorite scripture? Yes, my Which one? Second Corinthians 13. I know. She's saying to you, just say one of your favorite. One of. What is the most favorite? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lord's favorite. The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I shall not be in one. Mm -hmm. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Yeah. He restores my soul. Yeah. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, mm -hmm. I fear not this. Mm -hmm. I think it's your favorite scripture because you had it since uh, I've had it since since infancy and now from infancy. Yeah. You have known that scripture. I repeat it quite a lot. I say it so many times. I, I, I love it by heart. So I love that passage. Yeah. Yeah. And you know my mm, I think uh, you ask is uh, there are many, but I know that the one that you've said right now, Romans, mm. overcoming uh, evil with good. Yeah. Is that yeah, yeah, right. uh, that's one of them. And avoiding all extremes. <laughs> that's Ecclesiastes. Seven. Ecclesiastes seven. Yes, I think I know my husband. Yeah. Wow. So guys, <laughs> so today we've been. So those are the questions week. that we had uh, today. Uh -huh. uh, so next time we are waiting to get a question from Deep you guys, mm. and uh, we'll be able to strive to mm. answer them to the best of our ability. Otherwise, it's been great having and spending time together. Bye. Have a great time. Bye. Karibuni.